welcome back to my channel. You guys have probably noticed I haven't been doing a bunch of hair videos and it's for a couple of reasons. One is I'm pregnant and don't have as much energy to be doing my hair, so that is why I have been Number two, protective styling a lot. Whenever I jump between protective styles or I have um, some extra time to do my hair, I like to get in front of the camera and show you guys kind of like what's going on with my hair. I just washed my hair and I wanted to show you guys how I washed it and, and what it looks like when I'm washing it, but I could not get my technology to work in there. Everything just kept fogging up and it just wasn't working. So let me know if you guys who do wash day videos have any tips for how to avoid that. This is my hair. It was in Senegalese twist that I put in myself and it was in for about four weeks and then I just washed my hair. Folks who remember, I've had some postpartum shedding on my edges so it looks like a good amount of breakage but really this this is kind of new so that's kind of like new growth that has come back and it's looking really full i did a mini trim or like i might need a cut so i'm not positive but i might we'll see it looks a lot better right now i'm not going for a blowout look i'm just trying to dry my hair the quickest so I don't have to go out into the cold with wet hair and also I'm just trying to get my hair nice and stretched for when I get my hair done in a couple days. So I think I mentioned this in my last blowout video. I like to add a little bit of leave-in, rake that through my hair and then I will blow dry it in the rev air and then after about a minute or two, I'm gonna add shea butter to my hair. That was very, very quick. It really got my hair uh, blow dry. Here's the shea butter. I'm not gonna give it any more heat. I think that's it. But I am gonna go grab my heat protectant because I'm a little nervous at how powerful it is. Let me zoom out and see if you guys can see how long my hair is right now. I'm pleased with how much my hair is growing. Um, it's definitely been a struggle between last pregnancy and this pregnancy. Last pregnancy, my hair grew a ton. And then afterwards, I experienced a lot of shedding and breakage. And um, this pregnancy, it's been growing back again. So I'm nervous that after this pregnancy, I'll have postpartum breakage and shedding again. But for now, my next hair goal length is like full nipple length. All I'm gonna do is just like a very, very loose twist, especially for 90% of the length. And at the very end, I'll start doing it a little bit tighter, and that's just so that the, the twist will stay. That's just to help keep the finished hair out of the way. Heat protectant that I have, it's the HSI. The lint kills me. I don't know where that comes from. My hair is its own person. I'm really not adding that much butter, shea butter, especially raw, without it mixed in with anything else, which I like to normally do, uh, is pretty heavy, so I don't have to add that much. And here it is. I'll return when I am back at the front. Back with uh, pretty much all my hair done, except for this front section. It's been going really well. I just can't stop raving about this red air. It has changed the blow drying game for me completely. I'll go ahead and add the heat protectant. And I was actually able to use the very last bit of this as I am leave in. It's taken a while for me to get the blow drying process down too. I used to put on more products and it used to come out really way down or I'd get like a little bit of damage because the product was heating up too much. So I really feel like I found a sweet spot with leave-in and heat protectant and then just adding like the shea butter. Add 
a touch of butter. Just gonna go ahead and unravel. These come apart really quickly because they're so loose. Finger to tangle. My hair is really thick, <laughs> really healthy. Just do a quick and formal length check. In the front, we are about an inch and a half away from nipple length. The front, maybe nipple length. Not quite, quite there yet. After pregnancy, more hair videos, but in the meantime, sporadic hair videos when I wash it and get to style it, like I'll be doing a lot of styles for the holidays, but here we are. I don't think I need a haircut anymore. What do you guys think? It looks pretty even and good for now. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on where I'm with my hair, show you my wet hair, show you my blowed out stretched hair and what the length is like and what I'm looking to do. Um, it's kind of an informal video, but I know a lot of people are like, what's up with your hair? What's going on? Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I will see you in the next video.